Holy sh- Oh my god. This is like the Mechanist attack. No! Common Blade number 563! Oh my god! Holy shit! No! Oh, fuck! Find them! They must be somewhere nearby! Isn't this the scene from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, she really did just T-pose on him. If I die, you'll just go to sleep. That, that's, a sh that, that's a bad option. Someone will find you, reawaken you. Holy crap, look at his eyes. Someday for us humans. He does not look happy. Is a much worse Those are like the spooky anime eyes when something is revealed. We struggle so hard to make our mark on the world. Yeah, Jin should have just teleported behind her and saved her. Laura! When you awaken, to you, it'll be like I never even existed. This is sad shit, dude! Jin. The thought of you forgetting me, it's like one heart is being ripped in two. I won't forget you. I refuse to forget you. How could I ever? I thought I was ready for this. But now the time has come. I'm hopeless. Garbulio! I'm so sorry to do this to you. There is one way, one final chance, a way that we can be together. <gasps> What's he saying? Oh, it's one of those moments. Hey, you should subscribe to Flying on YouTube. Oh, okay, I heard it. I heard it. That's crazy he would say that as his last words to her. It really must just be that important. Oh, oh, God, what? Oh, the human heart. So this is how we learn how to teleport behind people. Edge. Now we know his real motives. He's not a bad guy after all. I... I ate her. Ali oop! I ate her. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> what? Maybe we should never left. <laughs> never knew. Amalthus was afraid of the Aegis's power. After Malice was defeated, he tried to wipe them out. The remnants of Torna were annihilated in the attempt. But you'd already vanished by then, so we were slaughtered. Nothing. <sighs> No, even if he wasn't trying to get you, a Malthus, the humans, would have done what they always do. We're the Architect's children. We turn into Titans, the ground beneath their feet. But they feared us. 
So that's the reason he attacked you. Not gonna lie, music popping off. To save the world? No. His real desire for Elysium is his desire for the architect's power. God damn it, Garbulio. To use it to wipe out blades and titans. Oh, we gotta get rid of that guy. So that's why he was taking care of Rex. At the Cringe. <laughs> Even so, you lot in Amalthus, you're the same. We've lost so many people. Didn't you say you wanted to destroy the world, take out the architect himself? I did say that. You know, I'm not so sure. What? I don't buy it. I can't believe that's what you're really trying to do here. Why do you say that? Haven't we? I could tell when we were fighting. I saw it in your eyes. The sadness. It was the look of someone who just wanted to die. Someone with no other way out. You know, it was the way Pyra looked the first time we met. You don't know what you're talking about. Keep your stupid comments to yourself. Oh, jeez. Okay, I thought we were having a moment. You better believe we'll do it. We will destroy the one responsible for this world. And we will destroy all the humans who lived by his mercy. Okay. We are sick of being used as tools by humans. I mean, fair, but, you know, we're... Well, then, there's only one thing to do. Arm wrestle. Oh. As I thought. Oh, no, Garbulio Prime. They're not really alive. Just autonomous cybernetic organisms. Oh, autonomous cybernetic organisms. Control is gone. Oh. On their own. Oh, this guy looks gross as shit, dude. These guys. Testaments to human hubris. Stop saying hubris. Now do you see? It is time to fight. Let's show him a thing or three. If you try to fight Infernal Gu Guido in the usual way, you're going to struggle to take him down. You'll have a much easier time if you activate Pyra slash Mithra's Ascended State. Just this once, I'll fill up the... <laughs> it's like the tutorial guy's doing me a favor. Just this once, I'll fill up the party gauge and the cooldown timer for you so that you can achieve the Ascension and fight to your best advantage. Nice, nice, nice. The tutorial man is the all-powerful. He gives me everything I need. Let's see if we can get a Light Orb off and maybe use... Uh, a chain attack? This is like our second time using her in the state, so I'm kind of... Uh-oh. Oh, we're back to normal. Did, did we win? <laughs> is the fight over? Did I do it? Okay, I think Jin's dead. Hyra, use the artifice. I did it, everybody. Use the cloud <laughs> yeah, we won. <laughs> Good job. Woo, that was a tough one. Moving close if you can get a shot. Then get Mitra to use foresight. Quick as you can. Understood. Ready to go. Okay. Let's do it. Whoa. Lightning. Could it be? Look! Rex <gasps> Zeke! It's the Rex. boys and girls. You okay? Jen? What the hell? Finally, party members. That can wait. First, deal with that. Okay. Can, we, can I set up my party or are we just... Crap, Tora's back. Okay, I can't set up my party. Oh, I want her as a... I want her as a blade, though. Damn. Using Tora voluntarily. Unfortunately, he's a good tank. I think we can legitimately kick this guy's ass. Oh my god, my health. I did not realize I was dying. <laughs> like I was saying, I think we can legitimately kick this guy's ass. As long as I'm on Mithra. I have, there's so many health pots. So little time. Anchor shot is so good when you can spam it. <laughs> this Guido guy is crazy. But has he heard of Anchor shot? Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo! That's a lot of damage. 100k damage. I'll take it to the bank, baby. Oh my god, look how big that orb is. <laughs> Holy shit. You see that? The big ass fucking orb flying around this guy. Whoa. It has a moon. He has his own gravitational pull. Two orbs, two moons. Oh shit, I need to heal. I need to heal everybody. Anchor shot, anchor shot, anchor shot. There it is. There it is, everybody. There it is. Uh, I should be able to transform, right? Is there a cooldown on transforming? 
Once per fight? Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay, so we're doing the fire orb. So if we use Dromark, that's free water right there. That should pop the orb. Very cool. Uh, Tora, it doesn't really matter what he uses. I think Cutie does more damage? Okay. Oh, shit! We killed him! Hey! See you later, Guido guy! Big alien man! Uh, this is... Rex Rex? What's matter? Find something? Uh, no, it's nothing. Rex Rex should join! Uh, yeah, okay. We got like some ID card, so I'm assuming that's who it belongs to. Me. Wait, he's Bill from accounting? No. But that department was closed years ago. Climb up the world tree. To Did Rex get a Pokemon card? Yeah. Very, very tiring. It's Bill Gates. It doesn't look that far from here to the surface, at least. We can manage that, surely. Don't you ever quit with that optimism, huh? <laughs> Rex. I can see why you've brought Jin, but I advise you not to let your guard down. Morag? When we're past this crisis, I'm taking you in. I owe it to my leader and to my people. If you resist, we'll kill you. Jeez. Bridget and I. What? Another monster? What is it this time? Nastropon! Above! Are they here for Jin? Uh-oh. That's Jin. What's he doing with them? Weird. Let's ask questions later, huh? After we finally smashed huh? him up. Seriously? Oh, I gotta take care of these losers. Well, okay. Hmm. Jin? Yes. Don't attack, he says. What? But it's the perfect <gasps> chance. Jin is pog champ. What? Did you not listen to Jin? Huh. I told you not to attack! <laughs> Damn, Papa's angry! You sly devil. Hid that one up your sleeve, didn't you? Hid what? His no idea why he, he fart? said that, but he must have his reasons. Oh, Malice is in there. Uh -huh. You can't Forgot. be too predictable, right, Mick? Sounds like a plan. Never seen that side of Jin before. Let's bring him up. Then it's world tree climbing time. Yes, sir. So, uh, so he is he on the ship? So he's just leaving us? All right, I guess. Bridget. Really is a ceasefire. Huh? You're still like you used to be. Jim. Damn! Ah, uh, so. That's a bit unsporting of them, using a giant boat. We must hurry. The longer we wait, the bigger their advantage. Yeah. We gotta go, Rex. Ali Oops. Tree ride. You tree ride! Right? About Jin. Indeed. Why didn't you tell me? He is not like Melos. You care too much at times. Hmm. Jin and Melos must be defeated. Who knows how that'll turn out? Pyra and Mithra's fate. Nice shot. He shoulders the burden of sustaining your life. Rex, what burden are you taking for her? Can you live for something? Yeah, of course. I'm living for them. Pyra and Mithra. I see. Well, I guess you're okay then. Just be sure to walk your own path, Rex. Believe in yourself. Rex, old man, what are you doing? Uh, old man? Sorry, <laughs> wait up. Old ass. Scoliosis looking ass. Oh, we're on the world tree route. Wow. Our party's finally back. So this is cool. So we're on the ruins. Oh, God. That is weird looking. And we're climbing up towards the world tree from the roots. That's very epic. This is a secret over here. Wow, this secret rules. Not funny. <laughs> the great void, it's almost completely gone. Why did they all say After it at the same all, time? The great void was Ophion's doing. What's the great void? Yes, indeed. So is Ophion gone? The oh, the thing not, not allowing us to go up. If only we were above the surface, we could easily cross. 
Just use uh, I mean, it fast travel. To climb, but it's nastier than any mountain, that's for sure. Everyone. Here. Hyra. The insides of the world tree. I'd never have thought. It seems to be an artificial tower. Yeah, we're below the clouds. Gargantuan plant life. Hey, what's up? Pyro? It seems like we could use this to travel up. Oh, Pyra, what did you do? Honestly, I'm not sure myself. It's like my body is remembering something all by itself. It must be another power granted to the Master Blade by Father. Oh, Father. Sir, we need to hurry. Yeah, this is some futuristic type shit yeah. right here. Well, this was hardwired into my brain. <laughs> hey, this tree <laughs> happens to have an yeah, elevator. Yeah, what the... <laughs> Not good. Y'all yeah, got trees with elevators back home or what? Some kind of elevator. <laughs> That's some fancy glazing. Elevator ride? Lift ride? We're good with heights. Shut your eyes. Mega float to base. Is this water? <gasps> I swim. Society if the wildfires never happened. The world if Xenoblade 3 came out. It's green just like me. We need elevator music? Oh shit, they put him in the fucking cryo chamber. We will regenerate him. He will be stronger than ever. He will destroy humanity. He will say the word hubris one last time. You can die when we're done. We made it this far. I don't plan on giving up. Damn. If Judicium hadn't gone down, we might have got you some better treatment. This'll do fine. I know Laura wouldn't have wanted this. Even so, I've got to keep my promise. All right. I'm with you. All the way. You ever think he gets neck pain from that? Hey. Ow. Jin, you better not get sentimental. You better not, buddy. I found the ruins of Torna down in Moratha. Oh. There were half rotted blades there. Couldn't grow into titans. They must have lived on for a while down there. A man once said, live together with the humans. It is weird he, how he keeps we, her in a, a ice we were block. Just living for the humans. It's a little, that was what the architect. It's a little weird furniture to have, you know? In the captain's quarters. And look what we became. You're still sure about what you want, right? You don't keep your GF inside an ice cube? Not anymore. Thing. It's 2020. It's time to progress. It's a reminder. Oh, that's just my frozen girlfriend. What a fool I was to ever have faith in the That's earth. a reminder? That is a weird reminder, dude. Maybe a photo? Uh, portrait, perhaps? Maybe not the corpse inside an ice cube just chilling in the goddamn... Oh, elevator music! Well, this place is crazy. This feels like, yeah, the areas in Xenoblade 1. Or the Mykonos areas. Except more gloomy, I'd say. This is- I did not- This is the world tree? I did not expect that. I expected shrubbery, flora, and fauna. I did not expect to be in level 2 Mizar new floor. Ooh, it's pink. It's magenta. It's fuchsia. Chat, what color is this? Fuchsia? Magenta? Pink? Blue? It's not seven. That's not a color. Ooh! Damn. Didn't know they had John Petrucci on the goddamn beat. I don't like these roly-poly guys. No, my music, dude! I was vibing! Can we play basketball with them? That'd be fun. Why am I getting McConaughey vibes? Uh, you tell me, dude. No idea. This is crazy. Damn. Oh, it looked like the pillars went on forever, but no, there's a ceiling. Those are very tall, though. Monoliths are so fucking good at making environments. They are, uh, they're fantastic at this. Elevator number eight. Holy shit, these grates are- I can literally fall inside this. I should be dead. These- Look at the size of this! Square! Holy shit, man. Live, laugh, love, am I right, fellas? <laughs> Those are the three Monados I know. Monado live, Monado laugh, and Monado love. The three keys to a good household. Ooh. Secret treasure? 
Are those fucking motorbikes? Exque excuse me? Oh, damn. That bike kind of looks dope, though. Yo, if we beat the enemy, can we ride the bike? Yo, these bikes look cool. You'll hate these guys. Ah, uh, they'll never get to me. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. They have guns? I didn't know they had bodies. Gun bikes too strong? I do hate it when my bike becomes sentient and shoots me with lasers, yes. When you guys were younger, did you think it was Transformers, robots in the skies? Or is that just me and I'm dumb? Oh, I have a strat. Just you, that's you, you're just dumb. Just you, just you, you're dumb. Okay. Okay, yeah, just me. This can't be good. Look out, everyone. If I was dumb, could I do this? Oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck. Okay, alright, yeah, I'm stupid. Run! Oh my god, there's so much damage. They're so fast. <gasps> Can we do this heart to heart? Oh! Let's go. Say, Rex, do you truly believe that Elysium exists? Do you even have to ask? <laughs> no, it's fake. It's fabricated. Don't you, Morag? I don't understand why you'd even be here then. The <laughs> music's so loud. No, that's not what I mean. I just wanted to clarify how everyone <laughs> The music's so loud. We'll just let the music do its thing. <laughs> hey guys, I just think that the world tree's really cool. It is too pog to be quiet. See, now we can talk. Don't most people only know of Elysium from fairy tales? True. Well, I guess so, but. There were wide green fields and a warm breeze and a beautiful city like nothing I've ever seen. Pyra was standing on top of a hill overlooking it all. I'm sure it must have been Elysium. There's no place like it in Orest. It has one cool tree. The place you saw in your dream. Is it prudent to believe in Elysium based on that information alone, I wonder? I get it. It's going to be ruins or some shit when we get there. Don't you trust me and Pyra, Morag? Oh, no, I trust you both. But just because a place exists in your dreams does not necessarily mean it exists in reality. Wow. Morag just destroyed Rex's point of view through facts and knowledge. Damn. Zeke, can you honestly say you have never doubted Elysium's existence in the slightest? Well, I guess I have wondered from time to she time. She just owned the Rex heads. Morag Shapiro! Yes! Finally! The final evolution. As for now, Rex believes it's real. All, 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 all I'm saying is that... <laughs> Hypothetically, if Elysium didn't exist. <laughs> oh, Zeke. I mean, sure, it's best for everyone if it does exist. But even if it doesn't, does that really change anything? Our chums on a mission to help Pyra reach her dream. Whatever the outcome, I will... Morag's <laughs> other hat is a fedora. So what if there's no proof? Chasing <laughs> after dreams is what real men are born to do. Very well. I appreciate your passion. Though I'm not quite sure I understand... God damn it, the music's back. Hey, no worries. You'll figure it out eventually. I mean, you're basically the manliest one here. Oh, that's not chill to say. Zeke, there are some things in this world you don't joke about. That is the scariest thing Morag's ever said. Even my temper has its limits. She will literally slice your balls off. Would you like me to teach you a lesson you won't ever forget? She pulls out the fucking blitz ball. Uh, Morag, you're scaring me a little. I feel like that's not what usually she pulls out. Hold it, hold it. I was just joking around. <laughs> Crush your balls. <laughs> Dude, Morag is fucking... She's tweaking here. L listen, nobody needs to die here, okay? Okay? Legendary land complete. Okay, thankfully these robots... Never mind. I was gonna say they didn't have eyes, but they do. I think I'm gonna die. Unless... Unless I pull off the greatest trick in all of humanity. The fly jump. That was a pretty good trick, though. You got you gotta admit, that was kind of cool. Very funny. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, there's an elevator here. I gotta find a way to that spot. Unless I can fly jump? You think I can make it, guys? <laughs> I don't even have, like, a destination. Hey, guys, you think I can make it? Just one, just one jump for the fans? 
flying. What are you going to play after you beat Xenoblade 2? We're going to play Torna, The Lost City. Then we're going to beat Future Connected. Uh, and then we'll uh, play Xenoblade X on the actual Wii U. Guys, look at this. I bought a real fucking Wii U for, th for this. Finally, my Xenoblade X machine is here. I swear, if Xenoblade... Okay, if Xenoblade X gets announced for the Switch... Okay, uh, first of all... Wii U giveaway on Twitter! Woo! Re retweet! Retweet! I would still be happy. That'd be cool. I wouldn't I wouldn't be, feel bad about it. But I do also have the fucking... The collector's edition to open. So that, that would feel bad to have this. And then it would come on Switch. Glitch in the... <gasps> oh shit, my secret! My secret! No! I'll just, I'll just tilt you guys. <laughs> well...